Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. Welcome to another RAM overclocking video. So a long time ago I made a video about uh, uh, how to fix RAM overclocking issues. So it's time to redo that video. So that video is only about B450M motherboard. Uh, but uh, this video should apply to any kind of... Uh, uh, this video is more of a, like a generic type. So this should these fixes should apply to any kind of motherboard or any kind of RAM that you have. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what are the symptoms of like a RAM overclocking failure? So your your desktop, your computer would be unresponsive, or like you when you're trying to move your mouse cursor around, uh, like uh, it will it will freeze occasionally, and you say you'll be like, hey, what's going on? And your co computer might like randomly restarts, or uh, you know, so you will face these kind of issues, and uh, and what to check. Like, for instance, in the picture here, you see uh, there's an XPG RAM rated for uh, 3200 megahertz. That means, like, when you turn on the XMP profile, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run at 3200 megahertz speed. But uh, if in, in case you have a RAM failure, it will restart automatically. And uh, when you're going to check the RAM speed, you'll see it's running at lower than the rated frequency. Like for instance, in here you can see this is a RAM that's supposed to, you turn on the uh, XMP profile, turn on the overclock, and it is supposed to run at 3200 megahertz, but it's running at 2600 megahertz. That, that means, I mean, that way you know your overclock has failed. Okay, so, so in that case, what are you going to do? You're going to turn on, you're going to get into your BIOS, just press uh, restart your computer, press delete key or F2 key, to get to the BIOS and you can, uh, I mean, these days you can change the ex XMP profile from your um, easy mode or uh, so just change your XMP profile. But uh, I believe you still have to go to the advanced mode and reduce the RAM speed a little. Like, for instance, your RAM is supposed to run the XMP at 3200 megahertz, but at 3200 megahertz, your RAM is failing. Uh, so what are you going to do instead of running at 3200 megahertz, you're going to run at 3100 megahertz. See, there are there's so many RAM speed that uh, DDR4 supports. It starts from 2133 megahertz to so all the way to 4000. So see if your RAM is failing at 3200 megahertz, so you want to go one step down. If it's still failing, go another step down. If it's still failing, go another step down. So that's the law. So reduce one speed one step at a time okay and uh, another thing you can do before you change the you know rated speed another easy solution that you can do is like uh, uh, when you buy if you if your motherboard has like a four ram slots they would be like color coded like this in the picture here you see there is like a two orange slots and two black slots so and in the motherboard uh, specification or in the motherboard you know, manual, they will say, hey, put your RAMs in A1 and B1 slots. So that would be in this picture here, these two orange ones. So put it on A1 and B1. And you did according to the um, manufacturer recommendation. But for some reason, those two slots are failing. So what you can do, instead of putting in A1 and B1, you want to put it on A2 and B2. So that way you're going to still achieve the dual channel mode and uh, uh, and that might fix uh, all your problems. So that happened with me. I had a trouble with uh, my ASRock B450M motherboard and it was failing at 3200 megahertz. So all I did was just like uh, change the slot from A1 to B1 to A2 B2 and I was able to run at 3200 megahertz with no issue. I did not have to reduce the speed. Okay, and another thing, like uh, you want to check your motherboard spec and CPU specs. Like, uh, let's see, uh, if you go to your motherboard's, uh, you know, manufacturer website, it will tell you what kind of uh, speed it can support. So, as as you can see in the B four fifty M still legend, it supports DDR four up to thirty uh, thirty five thirty three plus OC mode. I mean, overclocking mode, it would go over thirty five hundred megahertz. But I was not able to run my RAMs at 3200 megahertz, I mean the 3600 megahertz in this um, motherboard. The reason, because your motherboard does not 
is not the only factor that determine the DDR4 speed. You also need uh, your CPU also matters. So when I paired this uh, B450M still legend motherboard with my Ryzen 5 3600 megahertz, I could not go over uh, 3000. Uh, but when I paired the same motherboard with a 5000 ser series chip like a uh, Ryzen 5 5600, I was able to push my RAM speed uh, up to 3600 megahertz. So it was fine. So previously with the um, 3000 series GPU, I could not even go to uh, over 3000 megahertz. But with the 5000 series chip, I was able to go over 30. Um, I mean, the, I was able to go to up to 3600 megahertz on the DDR4 speed. So your CPU also matters. Uh, and all your components must sync. Like uh, if you're buying RAM, so, so for instance, you probably got some sort of RAM uh, that just not working well with the motherboard that you have. So in that case, just just change the RAM. Just get get one from a different manufacturers. Um, and uh, for the best result, you want to get two identical RAMs from the same manufacturer. And if you get same specs, but it's a different uh, manufacturer. Same same memory timing, same speed, but it's from different manufacturer. They might still work okay. But for the worst case scenario, you have different memory timing, and they are also from different manufacturer. That's a that's a complete no no. So you don't want to go down that road. And in case the RAM that you have is not working at all, and uh, you uh, I mean, they're not working with the motherboard that you have. They're just like, you know, constantly failing. So you probably have to get a different kind of RAM from a, you know, from a different manufacturer because, you know, sometimes these components just don't work well together. So, so RAM is something I would not buy from, uh, you know, websites like, you know, AliExpress. So you want to buy it from a, uh, from a very, a very uh, reputable manufacturer. So... Uh, so and we all have the tendency to fill all our RAM slots with like you know 32 GB RAM, 64 GB RAM. That's just a waste of money. So for better performance, uh, if you're for better gaming performance, you want to get like 16 GB is enough. You want to get RAM with more RAM speed and lower cache latency. So so for here, CL16 RAM is better than CL22. They might still be, you know, same amount. They, they could be still be 16 GB, but uh, CL16 RAM would be more expensive than the CL22, and they will perform, like, a lot better in gaming. And you never want to buy just one stick of RAM. Say, uh, for instance, you need, a, like, a, you just you can only afford 16 GB RAM right now, but you don't want to get just one stick of 16 GB. You want to get two 8 GB RAMs, uh, so that way you can achieve the dual channel mode. So never buy one stick of RAM. Get at least two. And get RAMs according to your hardware specification. So if your motherboard and processor can, can only go up to 3200 megahertz, there's no point wasting money getting 4000 megahertz RAM because you're never going to be able to achieve that speed. But you're wasting money on that. So, so those are uh, some few points to take note of. So I hope uh, this video helped somebody. Uh, in case, if you have any question, uh, put down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer those questions. You guys have a good day.